let us introduce to you our topic, which is hazard mitigation. Hazards mitigation's purpose, identifying, assessing, and reducing long-term risk to life and property of hazards. But do you know what is hazard? Hazard is an event that has potential for causing injury, loss of life, or damage to property and environment. The example of hazards are flooding, earthquake, fires, landslide, or tsunami. But did you know that there are three general types of mitigation? Yes, and they are called avoidance, minimization, and compensatory mitigation. I'm going to show you something that we made about hazard mitigation. What you're saying is a visual representation of a guidelines how to do a mitigation plan. The first thing we are going to talk about is prevention and mitigation. Mitigation means to reduce the severity of the human and material damage caused by the disaster. Well, prevention is to ensure that human action or natural phenomena do not result in disaster. Now, let's move on to preparedness. Evacuation plans. Stocking food and water are both example of preparedness. First of all, you must identify hazard. Identify what type of disaster are most likely to happen in your area and learn about how to prepare for each. It's also important to make a family evacuation plan. Decide on locations where you will meet in case of a disaster strike. Now that we've learned the things that we need to do before a disaster or hazard, we must also learn what to do during disaster. There are chances that you have been evacuated before the disaster occurs. In this case, you should follow directions from the local officials and carry your disaster supply kits with you. You should also unplug appliances, turn off electricity, gas, and main water valve, tell someone outside of storm where you're going, and you're ready to lock home and leave. But if you stay at home, listen constantly to a radio or television. Stay inside away battery powered from windows, skylights, and glass doors. And if power is loose, turn off major appliances and keep refrigerator and freezer closed. Turning our attention now to do the things that we need to do after an earthquake. The least that you can do it is to stay claim and turn on your portable radio or television for instruction and news reports for your own safety cooperate fully public safety officials and instructions when electricity is lost for several hours or days frozen and refrigerated food may not be safe to eat throw away all the food has been under flood waters except canned food but to sanitize the cans before opening conserve water if your septic system is flood and if your system lost pressure boil water for 3 minutes before consuming as we've said at the beginning, we should really identify the first possible hazard that we might experience in our community for us to be able to know what we are preparing for. Our television. Oh? The first thing we are going to is that we need to do after a mitigate. Mitigation means to reduce of and learn now. So stay on.